Hi Aquarius, welcome to Higher Source Tarot for your Is It In The Cards Love Tarot reading for June 2022. This is a love reading for all Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Thank you to all of you for all your support. I appreciate you all. And if you're new here, welcome. I post new readings on Friday, then again on Monday. So if a reading doesn't resonate, come back in a couple of days. You can watch a new reading. Fridays are always a general reading. Mondays are something different every week, a different style. So of course, today's reading is a love reading. Next week, it'll be something entirely different. Could be a more detailed Celtic cross style reading. Uh, law of Attraction tarot card reading or anything. So if you like tarot and you like the channel, I'd love to invite you to subscribe to Higher Source Tarot. All right, what advice do you have for Aquarius? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus about love plays. What does Aquarius need to know about love for the best and highest good of all concerned with Aquarius? Messages for Aquarius, please, about love. Okay. All right. We'll start here by drawing three cards to represent your energy, three cards for the person you're attracting, three cards on the advice. Your energy, interesting, is the eight, ten of wands, four of swords. Their energy is the five of cups, Two of Wands, Wheel of Fortune, the advice is the Page of Swords, Knight of Pentacles, and the Star. Well, it may seem like this has been a long time coming, but I'm going to tell you, good news is on the way. I love to see you and your own energy here. We've got um, Aquarius, of course. We've got the Wheel of Fortune showing up here, which um, is it feels like to me may seem like somewhat of a an unexpected encounter here. Somebody that you meet, you know, seemingly out of nowhere. But I definitely want to say that it's got it's got love here, you know. Um, it's been worth the wait. So you do have all the fixed signs here too. So you've got Aquarius again in the wheel, Leo, Taurus, Scorpio. Um, so okay, so your energy here, quite a bit of fiery energy here. I do feel like with that Eight of Wands, it's time to get something started. You've got the arrows of love in the tarot. So especially if you've been single or you haven't been communicating with somebody and there's been a breakup, I do feel like they are going to come back around. And I also want to tell you they've kept tabs on you. For those of you that this is about reconciliation, I feel like they're sadder than they let on to. They may have, it may not be putting it out there, but I, I'm going to tell you they ask about you, they check up on you. Um, but with this, I feel like you've been working on yourself. You've been investing in yourself. You haven't been just sitting around doing nothing while you're single, waiting for this, saying, when is the universe going to plop this down into my lap. How can I manifest this? You get it that you manifest when you start working on yourself. You know, you're going to the gym and you're also noticing, you know, you're taking note of, of, of the energy around you, you know, so when somebody around you, maybe they're in really great shape at the gym and you think, Hey, that's awesome for them. I hope they can get in as many workouts as keeps their vibration up and them lifted. You're always wishing well for people, but you're still expanding in your own life. Now that four of swords, what's going to be important about that for you is it's got you back to center. If you had something in the past that had you felt like you were stretched pretty thin, it may have been a relationship or there was something burdensome on you. I do feel like that. Even if you've been single and it's just been work and money and balancing everything, that four of swords it allows you to open your heart and open your mind. When we have a noisy mind and an armored heart, we can't attract real love. And so you're ready for it. I feel like you're primed, you're ready. And so with that eight of wands, it's going to come in hot. It's coming in quick. Um, again, I do feel like there's been a wait here, but the wait has been worth it. So with the Five of Cups, Two of Wands, this represents the person you're attracting. Now, it could have been one of the signs I mentioned, but again, they're manifesting you. Okay, I want to tell you that. As much as you're trying to manifest, so are they. With the Two of Wands, they have the card of the visionary. So they hold the world in one hand, but they want a bigger world. I also feel like there's somebody who would invest in themselves, who understands that to attract. You have to be something, right? You get what you are. And so I feel like they understand that. They take care of mind, body, spirit. 
I feel like they have a bit of an exciting energy, even though the Five of Cups is there and I feel like they have been hurt. They've been disappointed by love, whether it's a person you're attracting again or somebody new. I do feel like it's taught them a very valuable lesson, though, that they they understand that, first of all, not to get in relationships with people they don't belong in a relationship with when it's not a match and they can already feel it, but it's almost like it's force manifested. I feel like they've been down that road and they won't do it again. I also feel like, too, they may be a world traveler. There's somebody who gets out who can't. They've got a high vibrational energy, especially with the Wheel of Fortune there because it's telling you something more is coming towards you. The Wheel of Fortune, too, is like a good luck charm. So I feel like they would be the kind of person who would, it really is alignment, but they'd go into casinos or if they've gone to Vegas, they win when they're there. I, they just have a, it seems like a facility and people will tell them, you're so lucky. You always win contests and things because that's their energy and they know that they can do it. They've figured out how. So whatever this is, it is definitely a change a new cycle that's coming, but it's always for the better. And I feel like they've also learned when to hold on to something and when to let go and allow the universe to bring in more. They have that with the wheel of fortune. It's the wheel of life. So I do feel like they've experienced a lot of things in life. And they also too, when they've had some setbacks, they get it that that is a set up for something better. They've got a wonderful energy as far as that kind of positive thinking, growth mindset, they don't stay stuck and again, they might not stay in one place for long either. They might like to travel quite a bit or even have moved around a lot. Um, but it's not that they can't be stable because they do have stable energy coming in. I feel like it's more just they've got an adventure spirit here. So with the wheel, again, you're going to have a turn for the better with this one. But I also feel like they really feel that, that this is finally it. They finally are getting that turn for the better that they've waited for. Well, with the Page of Swords, the Knight of Pentacles, and the Star, you definitely have wish fulfillment and love coming in here. Um, the Page of Swords here is the Internet Spy. So I mentioned that earlier. You may have somebody here who keeps tabs on you. It also may be an indication, because pages are messengers, that it's going to be a lot of um, what may be a lot of text communication, especially if they do travel a lot. Maybe it's travel for work. Um, but I also feel like the communication keeps going, you know, it's not something where it's little breadcrumbs of stuff. Cause you're just not attracting that you're done with that. And the person you're attracting is not interested in that either. So with the page of swords, you've got communication coming in and it develops over time. The Knight of Pentacles comes in to get things done. He does bring good news though. That yellow in the background is significant. It's a wonderful environment for love and expansion and abundance and growth. It's a long-term commitment here. So is it in the cards? Yes. Yes, love is in the cards. With the Knight of Pentacles, it grows over time, but it runs the distance. So if there are some things to overcome, like there is a distance issue or something like that, I don't see that being a big obstacle at all. Now, the star is what, where the real money is at. She's the goddess of truth, okay? So like I said before, if they've been in relationships that were not the right relationship, they wouldn't be doing that. They're not going to be in something that wouldn't be a match. Um, it's, it is total rejuvenation. It's the time, it's considered a card in the time in the deck when your wishes are fulfilled. So for some of you, July is going to be an auspicious month. It's going to be a month where you're attracting love. Uh, it is a card though that brings an insight and inner knowing, and you are going to have influence over other people with the star energy. I do feel like though, you're going to have an, a relationship that's great companionship. Like I said, you both get the value of relationships and really attracting real love. And so with the star card, you've got it a little bit with the four of swords and the wheel too, but it's a reminder to meditate, be centered, be in that source energy. She leans on source for her strength and for her vitality. So yes, it's in the cards. Let's see what the angels have to say for you, Aquarius. Messages for Aquarius, please. Advice for Aquarius about love, please. All right, we've got golden opportunities. So again, you're going to be in the right place at the right time. 
and the meeting is there, especially with the Wheel of Fortune. Again, it may be an unexpected encounter. So I'd be open to invitations. Somebody invites you somewhere and you don't feel like going, you might want to get out there because they tell you, be assertive. Put yourself out there. The, sit the situation will improve. So I do feel like it has to do with that Ten of Wands because there's a lot of effort with that. They tell you you have perfect timing. So with this, they say create, choose a new direction. So when you get that, it can be the specificity of how you think it's going to happen because the universe works in some mysterious ways. I've seen it with my own two eyes where what you get what you want in the end, but sometimes it takes an interesting route to get you there. So be open to that. Um, there's love here for you. I love you too, Aquarius, and I'll be back again soon.